Good evening, this is Panhandle Prepper again and uh, I'm going to follow up through here on this uh, rabbit broth canning. So I'll give you a quick rundown and uh, we'll see how much time we have. Maybe you can watch me do a couple of my uh, jars. Alright, so we already skimmed off the, uh, the broth here from everything and uh, we took the fat off out of the fridge. We, there was very little, little tiny bit of it in this rabbit broth here. Let me back up so I get the camera all steamy. Basically, there's your broth. It's brought to a boil. Okay, after you skim off the top. And then here is my canner. And it's just got a little bit of water in the bottom. It's starting to heat up a little bit. And then over here on this side, I've got my water bath canner with hot water with all my quart jars just sitting there ready to be uh, ladled into. And so basically the recipe, what we've got here, I'll go ahead and spin her over this way. Uh, what we have here is uh, just, uh, I'm going to use the recipe for this of your, where are you at here? Ooh, there you are. Your ball, your blue book guide to preserving through the ball. And that's a brand name, and that's the stuff that I use. And we're going to follow on page 63, we're going to follow the recipe for the chicken stock. And there's your recipe, okay? Pretty much how I said to do it, basically. And uh, we just use chicken stock, rabbit stock interchangeably. And what we're going to do is we're going to ladle hot stock, hot rabbit stock into jars. And uh, we're going to leave about one inch of head space. And we're going to adjust the two piece caps. We're going to process pints um, 20 minutes, quarts 25 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure in a pressure canner. So that's the idea. That's what we're going to do. So whenever you're in doubt, you want to keep this ball uh, manual here because it said one inch. Let's see, yeah, it says one inch of head space. So what you do is you, oops, sorry, what you do is you take a look at the manual there, and there's your one inch. Your one inch of head space is right there, so you know how far down in the bottle, right about where that first little ring is. That's one inch. So you ladle, fill a hot broth all the way up to that point. You take your your lid, uh, your um, your lid and your band, and you put it on. And uh, I'll show you how I like to do that when I get going here in just a minute. All right, so let me flip this around this way so we can see. What I've got here is got my hot jars in my thing here in my canner, and I'm going to take my first jar out. I'm going to dump the hot water out. This thing's nice and hot. Not boiling, but close to it. I mean, that thing is nice and hot. All right. So we got the empty jar. I'm going to spin her over here on this side here. Let me tilt you down a little bit there. There you go. And all I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to ladle into that thing. I'm going to ladle the hot broth. Tilt you a little bit more there so you can see it. Oh, I forgot something. Let's see if I have it clean. Hopefully it's clean. There it is. I'm going to put one of those on there. That thing saves a lot of mess, a lot of fuss. Alright, so here we go. I'm just going to start her out. I'm just going to ladle that into there. Ahead, I'll just tilt you down a little bit more so you can see. There you go. We're just going to ladle her down into there. All the way up to right the bottom of that big first lip there. You don't have to splash it all over the place. But there's your hot broth. Okay. I'm going to ladle it. Keep going and going and going. Keep an eye on my time. The time will probably run out whoops, before I'm able to finish the whole process. But I'll at least do one or two to show you how I do it and how I process it. It's really simple, really easy. You just keep on going, ladle it in there. Prepping is the biggest part of this recipe. You have to get everything ready and prep it. And the first couple times you do this, you're going to fumble through it. So don't worry about that. You're going to totally fumble through this whole thing, just a pinch more. And uh, after you do it about a half a dozen times, you'll have it down. You'll have it absolutely down. So no worries about that. All right, so there's the first one. So what I'll do is I'll get my second jar ready. Alright. 
second jar will be ready. I'll swap my little finger over, we'll pick this up. Nice, good, firm. What do you call those things? Those little jar handler things. And what I'll do is I'll just scooch it over this way here. Make sure you can see it. Adjust the camera hair a bit. There we go. I think that'll do pretty good. Let me zoom you in a little bit. See if we can get a little. Oh, that'll be nice. There you go. All right. Oops. Sorry. So the way I like to do it is I'll go ahead and I'll get my bands. Use my little magnetic. Uh, this is just the ball kit. Um, the brand name is Ball, and it's just your little candy kit. There's my little magnet. I'm just going to go over to the canner. I'm going to reach in there. Get me a setup here. It's real hot. Get me a little setup. Got the lid. Ooh, that's hot. Put that one back in there. Got the lid. And that. And I'm going to take my paper towel. All right. Put my paper towel. I'm going to fold it up. First thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the lid, kind of gently, make sure there's no cracks, no little pieces of spices stuck on that jar, none of that kind of thing. Gently do the same thing on my lid, okay, inspect it kind of quick, drop that lid on there, okay, take a look at your band real quick, make sure there's no little boogers or nothing in that band, and then what I, how I like to do it is I, I go reverse, I reverse this thing until I hear it click, you hear it, hear it click, there it goes. And I'll tighten it up like this. Every kitchen better have some welding gloves. So I'll hold that thing down. It's boiling hot. I'll tighten it until it's really tight. Not, well, fairly tight. And then I'll back it off. And then I'll just come down just as tight as, not as tight as I can, but fairly tight with my fingers. Okay? Again, one more time. So I put the Put that lid on there after I inspect it, make sure it's centered. Take my band, and I, I like to put the band on and go in reverse until I hear it click, make sure it's threaded properly. And then I'll tighten it down fairly tight, and I'll back it up a little bit, and then I'll just go finger tight. Go finger tight, good. All right, and then we'll take my lifter, and we'll lift this baby up here, this hot broth. And we will carry her over to the. I'm sure, I can see this here. There we go. And then we just stick it right down in the in the pressure canner. Okay. So there's one of them. Okay. Again, just real simple. Let me make sure I got a good view here. Is this just in the pressure canner? It's ready to go. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. That's what the inside of that pressure canner looks like. There's your jar inside of my little Presto pressure canner, okay? Now remember, I'm letting the other stuff just simmer, keep it good and hot, just around the temperature of boiling. And then I've got my next one ready. Let me fix the zoom a little bit. I think it's a little bit goofy. Let me touch it down a hair. Fix the zoom. Oh, that's what we want. There's a good picture. Okay. So, I grab my ladle, and we start can number two. Oops, start can number two. I'll probably have time enough to do your... I'll start talking about the processing as I fill this thing up here. All right, so I'm going to fill up the, the second number, number two jar here, the second jar. I'm going to fill it up to one inch head space. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick as many of those in that big old pressure canner as I can, probably four to five quarts. And then I'm going to seal her up. And then I'm going to go ahead and follow my instructions on my canner which I will double check before I do it. I do I double check it every time anyway just to make sure. Don't think you have it memorized because you'll end up um, messing something up. After you do it about 50 times you'll have it memorized. I haven't quite done it that many times but getting close. Alright, so I think it's about it's 10 pounds of pressure and what did I say it was? 25 minutes or something like that? 40 minutes? Probably 25 minutes. I'll double check. And uh, put your little weight on top of your your canner after you get pressure going through your vent and it'll start to rock back and forth kind of kind of rough and then you'll adjust your oh, too much talking too much you'll adjust your temperature 
put the old welding glove on. I want to make sure that I've got enough. So I'm just going to, boop, there we go. And then we'll make her perfect. So it's pretty easy. It's like anything else in homesteading. You just kind of got to fumble through it, do your research, find a good video on it, watch somebody else do it, get their take on it, and uh, go from there. But I don't want to waste anything, so we're going to go ahead and use every part of that rabbit that we can. All right. So I grab my little jar, my next jar. Let me check the time here. Doing pretty good. I'll grab my next jar and get it ready for the stove. Get my next jar ready here. I'm just pouring the water out into my big old water bath canner. Now what I did today, I went to went to the old Walmart uh, down the road. Went to town and then to Walmart. And what I did was I needed another stock pot, so instead of buying a stock pot, I bought a water canner because it was about two bucks cheaper and it's more versatile. You remember that little lesson about being versatile as a prepper? You want to you want to be as versatile as you can to make sure that uh, you get the most for your money. So very important. All right, let me spin you on over this way, back to the counter. Good. Maybe zoom me in a little bit, tilt you up. Oh, too much. There, that ought to do it. That ought to be fine. All right, so there we go. Here's our next one. We'll use my little magnetic thing. We'll go into here, into my water bath can, my new one, after I just bought it tonight. And go ahead and get my stuff ready. So I take my napkin, clean napkin, and ring it around once. Make sure we're good to go. Make sure there's no little food particles on there, no pieces of paper towel. Drop your lid onto the jar, center it. Just kind of shake the water out of this, okay? I'll put my glove on. What I like to do is go in reverse, just that until you make sure it's threaded properly. I heard it click. I'm going to go down. Now I'm not going to gorilla tighten it, I'm just going to go pretty firm. I'll back it up and then I'll go finger tight. Good. Really good. Finger tight. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we will lift this one into the pressure canner. Alright. And we're on a roll. There she goes. Number two. Okay. And just to note this, that if you have, if you say I've only got maybe four one, two, say I have two more and I run out of broth, there's all the space left in the canner. What I'll do is I'll take a couple more um, uh, empty jars here, like this one here. I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Oops, wrong one. I'll go ahead and take my little empty jar here and I'll fill it up with hot water and I'll, I'll replace, uh, I mean, I'll place them in there and fill up all that empty space just to make sure that uh, these, these good uh, broths. Uh, jars don't break when they start going, so they're going to be packed in there properly. Okay, that's pretty much the process. That's pretty much easy, uh, as easy as that. Just uh, canning that chicken broth and uh, going that way. So uh, it's the homestead way, the prepping way is to make sure you have plenty of broth. Okay. So again, once you're done, you go ahead and let it cool. You let them cool, and that's why I put that. I like to put that towel out. That clean bath towel out, I like to stick that out. And uh, that way, let's say this is one of my, let's say that that one is hot. That's one of the, my pre can, already pre can jars that I did uh, a while back. Let's say that's hot. I'll go ahead and I'll lift that on there. And uh, I'll just, when I lift them on there, I'll put them on the uh, edge there. And then my next one, my next bottle, I'll place next to it, but I'll move it over about an inch. That way, remember our lesson the other day? on uh, airflow through the bottles. I don't want to get too hot. I want them to cool down kind of evenly. So, and then what I'll do within an hour after they cool off, I'll start hearing the little lids going pop, 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 pop. And I'll know that they're good and I'll let them sit overnight. Nope, that's it for this video. Time's up. All right. Thanks for watching.